Now, as you know, the federal election is due next year, but the PM could go before the end of this year, of course, so the process of selecting candidates is well and truly underway. I want to introduce you to the newest Liberal candidate for the winnable Labor seat of McNamara. It used to be Melbourne Ports uh, in Melbourne. Now, his name, this candidate, is Benson Sorlo. He joins me now live from Melbourne. Benson, first up, congratulations on winning pre-selection last night. Well, thanks so much, Chris, and um, great to be here this, uh, this evening. Now, tell us, uh, it's a Labor seat, a long-time Labor seat, narrow margin, though, and it'll be shifted around a bit in this redistribution that's causing a few, uh, a, f a bit of consternation in Melbourne at the moment. Uh, firstly, do you think it's winnable, and, and what are you going to focus on? What do you want to talk to the people of McNamara about most? Yeah, so I absolutely believe that after uh, after you know over a hundred years that this seat has been held under Labor, um, the people of McNamara do want to change. They feel like they're being taken for granted. They feel like the seat's been overlooked, um, hasn't had the leadership that that they need and they deserve. And uh, and I think they are looking for a change. Uh, we know that it is a, a three-way race between Labor, uh, the Greens, and, and ourselves. Um, and it does come down to preferences at the end of the day. Um, but I believe that as, uh, as the candidate, uh, I, I present a, a really strong, capable and, and uh, uh, effective leader to, uh, for the seat of McNamara. Well, it occurs to me, I think there's a strong Jewish vote in that area too. And, and, and with the Greens so feral on, on uh, Gaza and Israel and with Labor relying so heavily on the Greens, there might be an opportunity there to try and split off uh, some people from Labor because otherwise it's a Labor-Greens uh, alliance there, which is very, very critical when it comes to these issues. I, I want to go to your background. I want to, don't want to focus too much on identity issues, but you're an Indigenous candidate and uh, you were the first Australian Indigenous Consul General when you served our country uh, looking after business interests in Houston, Texas. And you're coming into a party that's got some prominent Indigenous members, especially Jacinta Nampa, Jimba Price, of course, and Karen Little. Uh, so that, that, uh, you, you must be really enthusiastic about uh, that Indigenous leadership that's being animated through the Liberal Party. Yeah, absolutely. And we look at the history of the Liberal Party as well. And we look at, at Nev Neville Bonner as well as Ken Wyatt. Uh, and then also, as you've mentioned, uh, Karen and, uh, and Jacinta, you know, we have got a long history of, of representation that are interested in real outcomes at the grassroots level. I think where I can bring my exp experience and my expertise is around that economic development. And uh, what we saw out of the, out of the voice, where there was no plan B coming from Labor. Um, they really dropped the ball in regards to you know, the, taking it to the people for starters, um, but then not having a response when ultimately there was over 60% of Australians voting against, uh, voting against the voice. What I really believe and where I think that I can really complement the, the wonderful work of, of, of Jacinta and Karen is, is around that economic empowerment piece. So this is the part that I've been really focused on in my career for really for the last um, seven years has been building capacity, capability, but then also governance across our Indigenous businesses and, and, uh, and traditional owner groups in order to, to participate in the broader economy. And I think that's the, that's, that could have been the plan B, and I think it is actually the path forward for, for seeing greater success and prosperity across our communities. Yeah, great insights, uh, Benson. Thanks for joining us again for a short chat. Let's hope we can catch, uh, catch up and have a chat again later on. I appreciate it. Benson Solo there.